But uh, but let's talk about the inauguration a little bit, about the upcoming presidency. How do you feel about Joe Biden? So I think that, first of all, we Israel went through, um, has, has a great history with the United States. And um, I think that the alliance between Israel and the United States stems from our peoples. So... Obviously, it would be uh, global to say that it doesn't matter who, who is the president, we will remain friends. Um, but I truly do believe that it doesn't matter who is going to be president because we live in, 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 in a world where democracies reign. And democ democracy means that the people are the boss, basically, and the president is a servant of the people. So the fact that the alliance stems from our peoples, um, it means that our alliance is still going to grow more and more, whether it's a Republican president or a Democrat president. Or, or a Libertarian president. <laughs> who, who, who said that being a, a Republican or, de or a Democrat isn't uh, promoting uh, these ideas? But, but yeah, I think, I, so I, I'm pretty positive. I'm, uh, I'm actually very positive because, and I had this conversation with a lot of people. They, they, t they told me how... How could you uh, be happy when such a, a president is now in, in office? And, well, I'm, I'm not sure what about you guys, but I mean, I'm, I do believe that things happen for a reason. And I do believe that sometimes these things that happen for a reason are beyond our understanding. And because they happen for a reason. <laughs> Voila. So yeah, I, I'm I'm pre pretty positive. I think that our relationship will continue to grow, and doesn't matter what's gonna happen. Yesterday there was the first controversy. Did you guys hear about it? About uh, the, the, exactly the, the Twitter account. Yeah, the US. Want to tell the the story? So I actually read the the title that um, the Twitter account of the US embassy in Jerusalem they changed their their the name of the account oh the name not the, the name of the account no the name of the account oh. was u.s embassy in israel and an hour after the inauguration they changed it to uh, u.s embassy in israel uh, uh the territories in gaza or something like that or palestine in gaza something like that no, it was gaza and the west bank gaza and the west bank yes what? yes they changed Is the name of the account, that way? and apparently, like there was a, check this. no, it's no, not they changed still, it it's, back. They changed it back after, but you know, I I guess uh, phone calls were made, right? Uh, people yelled at each other, and, <laughs> and, it, and I, I, I think huge pressure that's from how Israel, are solved in the and, and they and they changed it back. But I, I mean, th yeah, it tells the story, right? I, I mean, I mean. It's, it doesn't make any sense because this embassy is for Israel and Israel has no responsibility over Gaza. not even sure if you can have an embassy in one country in, for no, another. No, the other is pa not the country. Palestine is not even a country. Can you have an embassy where there is no to a country that doesn't exist? And that's bannable um, now. Shame on you for, for speaking like okay, that about, yeah, about, we're delete about the Palestinian account. authority. But yeah, Seriously. that was a that was a big deal, and it's just <laughs> an hour after the uh, literally an hour and the first controversy wow. outrage. I you know I think that it shows how much power the the bureaucrats have when b because I'm sure that it's it's a decision that was made. It, I mean, obviously it's not like Maybe and now after Biden. the inauguration <laughs> he made a call. Hey, change this uh, account's <laughs> name. It's the bureaucrats that decide, and I think that it's. I mean, it's it's outrageous, honestly. Not I'm, and I'm obviously I'm not saying referring just to that. I mean, it's outrageous that bureaucrats are able to determine policy. It's it's just the world we live in. It's just yeah. uh, you know it's crazy. But it's democracy. This is how it works. But uh, Trump was a good president for Israel. Yeah, I'm honestly I love I love the things that he did for the sake of Israel, and I have all I have is appreciation towards this uh this this president because he made he fulfilled his promises he made promises before entering the office and he actually fulfilled them and and then to see people being angry at him for fulfilling his promises i mean hey he said that he's gonna do that and well apparently it made a lot of people angry to see that hey 
how dare you declare Jerusalem as the capital of Israel? And, and in my opinion, it's not like we need a stamp of approval because it's our capital. It's not going to change that. It's just going to gonna, gonna uh, approve it in greater levels, perhaps. Or moving the embassy that angers people. Um, or uh, Golan Heights. The Golan Heights, the uh, Judea and Samaria. I mean, hey, obviously there is no question here that we have the Palestinians that d deserve a solution. And I love Palestinians. I, I know that a lot of people, um, they perhaps thinks that we Israelis are not okay with the Palestinians, but I can speak on behalf of myself that I love the Palestinians and I want a solution for them. But I think that under the current leadership, on, under the dictator, if I, if I may say... Uh, Maham they're they're going to have elections now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, they're going to have the election after he's, he... Listen, <laughs> Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian dictator, and again, I'm sorry for sounding radical um, because I'm passionate about it. There are two dictators. Who? One in Gaza and one... The, the oh, Hamas and Fatah, yeah. And so it, it's actually stupid because he just entered, he just entered his 17th year as, as president on his four-year term. <laughs> the, his 17th year, and, and, now, and now he announced the election. I think that he announced this election to appease the Biden administration to come as, hey, we are Democrat, we, we are, we're, we're Democrats, we love democracy. Um, and <laughs> obviously, when I when I say uh, Democrats, I'm, I don't refer to the uh, the political statement. I'm just saying promoting democracy. But but then he doesn't allow his uh, main rival. Uh, I I forgot his uh, his name. Um, uh, oh, Dachlan. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't allow his Dachlan. main rival to run against him. He's in exile. Actually, he doesn't even live here. It makes He's sense because a... I think that if he, if he would have lived. In the Palestinian Authority, he he'd be in jail right now, or or in the ground, perhaps. But, more, but more I reasonable. heard maybe it is democratic. You could choose anybody you want. You can vote for anybody in Palestine. Not not that guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> not that guy. Not that guy. Yeah, yeah. But you so can anybody <laughs> vote for anybody? No, that guy. No, no, no. You can't. That guy. You see, he's I mean, just not around. He's on vacation. <laughs> he's uh, yeah. He's on uh, on. on Have you league. heard about the party in Ramallah, in the church? No. Or in the mosque, there's there's this huge uh, D female DJ. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Heard about the story? Yeah. And she uh, organized a party recently, a few weeks ago, uh, either I think in a mosque. And she, it was, and she's a big deal in in the territories. Like she's a huge uh, a DJ and a young personal famous person, and and uh, she was arrested and she's in jail. Well, that that's actually n not okay. I, I mean, having a party in a mosque shows some respect. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm serious. Really? But in 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 the same way that we wouldn't want to see a a disres. I'm, I mean, again, I don't know what no, but party it's not was a jail. it. It's no, not obvi obviously not. But I mean, I wouldn't want to see a a disrespectful party in a synagogue. Or, no. or in a church. So in the same way, let's implement the same standards when, when it yeah, comes to the a, mo question a mosque. Is, the question know? is if the mosque was okay with it. I'm assuming it w if it was like some renegade party. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the details, actually. That's maybe kind it of was important. Uh, details are sometimes, uh, you know. Yeah, but what kind of music critical. did they play there? <laughs> yeah. We're such a shallow if podcast. They <laughs> yeah. so. If they played like uh, Beyonce, they deserved to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you explain, Hanania, the fact that Jews here love Trump, whereas Jews in America despise him? So I think that Jews in Israel love Trump because they love his foreign policy when it comes to Israel. They appreciate the things that he is doing for Israel, where, where in, in the States, I think that the Jews there are more focused on, on his uh, internal policy where they perhaps um, dislike him for, for his uh, internal policy. And again, the, I, what I'm focused on is uh, his... Listen, as an Israeli and as a Jew, when I look at him, at the things that he had done, he's, he's, he did great stuff. Not, I, I mean, hey, I see, I see the things that he did for the sake of Israel. I see how he is so boldly uh, standing for, for America against dictators, against the Islamic regime in Iran. I mean, 
it's it, I'm thankful. He put Iran on its knees. Yeah, where where under the previous administration we saw U.S. soldiers on their knees taken into uh, into uh, they, they uh, the Iranian regime took them as hostages um, un- under the previous administration. So it's just I mean how can you not be thankful for that that this leader. And I'm sorry, Ethan, that I'm, yeah. I'm making you uncomfortable. No, no, no. I love all those things. I love all those things. No, but because because how can we not be thankful uh, to see him standing against dictators? I don't think people in America, you know, I can't blame them, right? They're in COVID and they have other things in mind. But I don't think people realize the the change yeah, that, that took place here. here. 